Welcome back, guys. Play it, bitch. And color. This is Zephyr Games and Jamek. We have Hello. color. And thus color is born into the world. Or something like that. Yep. Scan the lower left one. That's the best one. No, nope, I'm gonna scan the whole thing. You can't scan. Gonna scan the bottom slot. Why? Why would you do that? Nice. And I'm gonna scan the. Why? <laughs> I'm just gonna scan everything there. Oh can. god, Jay, you kill me sometimes. Industrial solar lens. You're not even reading it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Stop scanning your entire. No, what are you doing? No, don't go closer. No. What is your deal? Seriously. <laughs> solar dynamo. I just saw it. Dynamo. Oh, by the way, this thing over here that, um, uh, it's dimensional flux. It's fluctuating. In the dimensions. Half the atoms are here, half the atoms are somewhere else. Which the is... effect is that you can walk right through it. And you can't use it in either world. Actually, for some reason, you can use it in the other world. It makes no sense. <laughs> you should see my face right now. My face is like. <laughs> if it's half here and half in the other world, you can still. Use it in one world. That, yeah. Sure. Alright. Game logic. Yeah, you now we created an evil dark portal scary dude. Do we have to go in right away? Does it make yes. Us? Okay, usually it doesn't make us. Ew, god. It's all smoky. Alright, we enter the portal. And we die again. We got right about. Now. Poof! Alright, we're all vaporized, so. Technically, whatever assembles on the other side isn't actually Samus, but a. Reassembling of her atoms in a form that looks like Samus and acts like Samus, but is not in fact Samus. So, therefore, we are actually playing a fact similarly of Samus that happens to look exactly the same. Just so you know. Yeah. And. Ow! My that hand. doesn't like. Um, yeah, so this is one of those safety bubbles that the guy was talking about. Safety bubble, put. Get your butt in there, safety bubble, or you will die. <laughs> safety bubble. Something, something, something. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm going to call it one line. No, I can't. Sad. Safety so, bubble. So, anyway, the they idea take is a bubble back. <laughs> they, they damage you. If you uh, Actually, the safety bubble. Air back. damages you because you can't breathe poison. it. But then, when you get inside the safety bubble, it heals you. Very Even of though. normal damage that should not be healed. Yeah. Uh, by yeah. Oh, and we can also shoot Sit. little light balls like this to make temporary shooting them balls. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. <laughs> what? I'm talking about pool. Playing pool. Shoot balls. Pinball. Lots of games where you shoot balls. Whoa! Did you see that? That, that also the opened the door in the, in the light world yeah. as well. Dude, hurry, you're dying! Oh my god! Okay, we're good. You better not just sit here. I'm gonna sit here and regenerate while I kill those things over there. Okay, that's acceptable. Never I just mind. suck it in. Suck it, this guy. <laughs> that one. Little tip, little pro tip for you. If you can, like, lure an enemy into a zone that has one of those temporary bubbles, you can, like, vaporize them by just activating that one. That's pretty hilarious. They look a lot like those things, those phase-on things. That's Earth. the idea. They're, those phase-on things are called phase-ings. No, uh really? Yeah. They're actually ings that were injected with phase I, There's something like that. Whoa. Wait a minute, is there another one? Oh, yeah, look at that. You win. You See, win. I'm really good when I'm not trying to... Aim through a foot Safety wide bubble. thing. You're yep, really good, people. like once in a million. No, I'm good when I'm not trying to shoot through an area two inches wide. Sure, just keep telling yourself so you can sleep at night. I will. I sleep very well at night. I am sure. So you know, bug draw. You're a bug draw. No, I'm, I'm not even gonna ask what that is. Well, that's be. good because I don't know. <laughs> no, you just made it up. Yeah. How could you know what it is? Yeah, obviously. I'm glad you understand. Most people don't seem to understand how I don't know what my own data turns up. It's perfectly reasonable. I 
it still. I just make it up. So how would I know? How would I know? There's no possible way. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Save point. It's just not... Yeah, I'm just checking to make sure there are no enemies, which there are not. By the way, these things are actually... These things that we're shooting seem to be actual living storage containers. Which is kind of sick if you think about it. It would destroy them. But they are evil, so you can't feel too bad. Yeah. Oh, look! Evil Minox! Get him! Yeah, you never scan the actual Minox, you know? Just no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So we have no idea what they're called. This is actually really fun. How is that fun? You're just shooting randomly. And yeah, they blow up! It's so much fun! It's like stressful. Right? Oh, that was kind of fun. Just one more. Fun fact, when you get the various um, beams, like light beams and dark beams, you kind of just shoot them at these crystals to either, if you shoot them with a dark beam, they will go out, which isn't useful Oof. very often, but sometimes you can use them to like, trick enemies into vaporizing them in slow. Uh, which is but only if you have the light beam to re-energize it. Exactly. Otherwise, you know, it's just, Not it's just dumb. <laughs> Can't you re-energize it with the normal? I thought the light. I don't beam, like, think so. I thought the light being like super recharged it. It does. All right. Well, and it um like I think it draws the enemies into the lights. Yes, they that was the hilarious damage. part. Yes. Boop. The ing set. I'm sorry. The Luminoth set these up when they were in here fighting the war against the ing. Are you sure you're going the right way? I am fairly sure that I'm not. There were like light bubbles on the uh, you're going right into the bad area. <laughs> yep. Let's come back here when we don't take any damage from the atmosphere, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. By the way, folks, that is when we get the light suit. But first we have to get the dark suit, which makes us take less damage. Which is pretty relevant. I mean, and it's... here is our first real aim. They look kind of like mutated shadow horse... Hand fists. <laughs> they really do. And yet, it's attacking me with light portals. Yeah, that doesn't make much sense. That's ironic. Yeah, it's part of tracking to do that. Yeah. I think the goal of that is more to like knock you out of these circles than anything else. I think so. It does a little bit of damage, but it actually ends up doing more by knocking out of portals. Is he dead? Yep. Oh, by the way, I'm playing right now. Well, yeah. Which doesn't make any sense because I also played last episode. What? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, You no. never noticed. I never did. Let's see, should we go up there? No. Or should we try this door? We can't try this door. Let's so. go up there. Let's go up there, shall we? I think we should. My idea. Exactly. But that I was decided, my idea. I decided on it, though, so it was, like, really fine. You just keep to yourself that. It Where's... Oh. Oh, shit. oh, yeah, it's a light bug. Yay. Yay. Lightbringer. We don't need to read that. No one cares. Jerry, it's safe for... <laughs> Guess what it's not immune to? Dark beam. That's true. It's not. Or annihilator beam. Shh. Well, yeah, but no one knows what that is. Yeah, that's a light portal. That is. I right know. You need the light beam to energize it. And you also need to figure out a way to get in there, because... There is none. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. There's a tiny little baby portal. I mean, baby bubble. <laughs> There's a baby bubble. Wow. What? Oh. Alright, just run for it. Ah! Ah, hands around, Mr. Lurgle! There aren't any Lurgos in this game, sadly, it's enough. too bad. Morph it up! Morph, morph. Danger. Morph. Maybe when you um, beat the Lurgoyf. Uh, oh, you can't get anything. Um, when you beat the Lurgoyf, you automatically get um, gain power ups whenever you destroy an enemy. That would be fun. That would be more like an Odeo, though. A what? Odeo. But the Lurgoyf's um, power and toughness are each pumped when a creature hits the graveyard. So, oh boy, oh, yeah. lots of ing this time, I believe. Oh, a guardian, that's right, this is the jump guardian. Yay! I'm tired of only one jump. My 
turn. I get filed nope. twice, that's the rule. No, you don't. Plus, it's really my turn anyway. It, would it is, but I have not fought a boss yet. So, so. I should fight the boss. <laughs> See my logic? Makes so much sense. No, it doesn't. This is actually a pretty easy fight as far as they go. I mean, honestly, he can't do that much. I mean, unless you suck like Jake and you can't kill him a single time. <laughs> but seriously, it's a pretty easy boss overall. I mean, wow. Did you know that he damages you by jumping? I did, actually. It's like Mario. Freaking, it's the mario -ing. Freaking Mario. Monster. He's mario -ing. Actually, he's just a Mario. He is Mario. He was just turned into an evil monster when he was turned that, Well, that, that's sad. That's Mario. I know. That, that, no, but it's okay. It, that's just that. That's just the dark version of Mario. There's a Mar normal Mario's fine. Oh, okay. It's like Dark Sands. Or Dark Shades. Dark Shamus. Actually, I think Seamus would be the uh, male version of the name Samus. Uh, obviously. Oh, that's a good one. And that would make. No, no. She doesn't even have it. She has my brother, you know, my mom. We don't know anything about her family whatsoever. We know that they were killed by Ridley. Yeah, honestly. And this is one of the only games that Ridley does not appear in, sadly enough. Yeah. My old name. username was Meta Ridley. And now it's Jacob. Actually, it does have a reason. Well, my name is Jacob Michael. Dude, hey, wait. So it's Jacob. <laughs> well, they don't know what my last name is. Uh, I do, but I'll probably use the title. Haha. Yeah, but it's. There's no way that they'll be able to spell it off of that's one true. pronunciation. That's true. It's very really stupid. Since that is technically still your evil name. Oh man, that is getting into way too many stupid details. Who cares about that? No one! That's right. Absolutely no one. No one cares about that when we're playing video games. Or face an evil jump man. Actually, that was Mario's original name. That's why I made that. <laughs> I, was, I was making a reference there. Boom! Oh, I'm not gonna lock on for the rest of the I'm just shooting this one. Because I'm stupid, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Look how well he chased it. Oh, that's a good, good missile. Good missile. <laughs> Who's a good missile? There we go, he's dead. You know, they don't have like really big death animations. Like, I mean, they have a death animation, but like, in Metro Prime 3, like, whenever you kill boss, it'll like cut to. I defeated the Jump Guardian! It'll like cut to the scene and everything. This one just yeah. kind of goes, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, look, it's a high heel boot. Wow. What it is. Oh, wait a minute, I should probably scan this. Oops! <laughs> oh wow! Well. Super shoes! Wow! <laughs> you can't actually jump that high, folks. No, you can't. Just Unfortunately. Down. Those are the high. You can jump higher, though. You actually get just a second jump, right? Really. It's like good. It's like double jumping that actually makes sense. All right, guys, that's gonna be wrap it up for this episode. Yep. Stay tuned. We're gonna do more. Huzzah! That'll be fun. I mean. For us. You get to watch us have fun. We can jump higher. We can and jump higher. Take level. lots of damage. We can gain more energy. We can do a lot of stuff. But we haven't been there yet because we like to dirtle. Dirtle, dirtle, dirtle. Alright, guys. Dirtling is fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.